passato. Quest'oggi nel Music Corner abbiamo il grande onore di avere un ospite d'eccezione, ovvero Peter Sincott. The Music Corner. The Music Corner, that's right. And that's It's, what this is. is exactly this is. Really low fi Music Corner. <laughs> find the right notes here. I have to pick and choose. They got a pound of meat in a box of plastic. Beef pumped up and stretched like elastic. Candy bar saying you can win the prize, but only if you buy the king size. Filling my cup with all I can pour. Give me everything you got. Some more. Cause nothing's enough. No, nothing's enough. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Normally I hit the low notes. Normally I go. So, have you ever played in a situation like this? No, worse <laughs> than this. When you, when you begin your career? No. <laughs> The answer nice. is no, not even when I began. <laughs> This uh, next time I do an octave. Although, you know, when my grandmother bought me my first piano, I was three years old, it was this big. So, so okay, <laughs> you're right. There's so, always that. <laughs> uh, why you decided to play this kind of music and to sing? I mean, you, it was the, the, the only thing that you wanted to do when you were a kid? Because your grandmother... Well, music, <laughs> you know, music was always uh, what I wanted to do. The kind of music changed, you know, when I was a kid from one year to the next, just like it changes now yeah. <laughs> from one year to the mm -hmm. next. So nothing has changed in that regard, no pun intended. But, um, but I always wanted to be a musician and, and do this for a living, you know. I, your I family was supportive with you? Very, very. But uh, they never pushed me, you know. They never forced me as a kid to, to uh, have to practice or have to play. So I'm, I feel very glad in retrospect that I didn't have parents who would say, practice, I never was like that. So I think that's why I kept doing it, because it was fun. It's just another ordinary Monday. And once again, I'm running late. Why does it seem like I'm always rushing to get to work when it's a job I hate? And that today I'm lucky Thank God I didn't take the stairs Cause the elevator door just opened And you're standing there You walk in And the world just stops I've got 15 seconds Three floors high I gotta make my move I don't wanna get one shot uh, What was the kind of music that moved you towards music? When you uh, well, were a kid. The, when I was a kid, the first music was uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. Rock and uh, roll. Rock and really roll, rock and like, roll. You know, like Boogie Woogie. You know. Great Balls of Fire. Uh, that kind of thing. When was your first exhibition as a, as a musician? How old were you? I was 12. I was in uh, high school and I started playing clubs. I, I started playing clubs after I'd go to school and after school I'd leave and I wouldn't do my homework. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? I'd get a different education. Why did you choose the piano and not the guitar or, or whatever? Because of Jerry Lewis? Because of the way he used the, the instrument? Well that came... It fascinated you? It, well that came later though. I mean uh, my first introduction was through my grandmother who bought me that, that toy piano and mm -hmm. put it in front of me when I was three so You know, I don't know, was it, was it because of that? Had she, if she bought me a guitar, would I be a guitar player? I have no idea, but it just happened that way. You immediately found that you had also a voice, or you... No, I didn't start singing till a long time. Uh, I didn't start singing till I was about 15 or something. So I was always a piano player first, and, and then a writer second. I, when yes. I was nine, mm -hmm. I started writing songs long before I started singing. And then third, I just started singing to get some of the melodies across that I was hearing. And so, yeah, that's the order that it happened in. It's do or die for you and I. I can't let you pass me by without knowing if we'll ever get together. Don't know how. We gave my heart to beat so damn loud. But it's do or die.
of conversation Something a little more than high How you doing? Let me get your number Don't want to be that guy And I don't want to end up saying nothing I couldn't live with that regret But here I am planning on a honeymoon I haven't even met you yet now, how can you define yourself? You are a composer, you are a piano player, you are a singer, you do three things together that is not so usual in the, in the music today, as you know, because there are the singers because of television and, yeah, right. and like X Factor or The Voice or uh, yeah, no, I, um, American Idol or whatever, but you do many things together. Yeah, I think that they're all, you know, part of each other. You know, like I said, I, when I write a song, I just I want to get across the song so sometimes I, I just the voice and the piano are just ways to do that so it's really about the song I maybe I think of myself mostly as a, a songwriter and I guess but I don't know they're all very connected you know You know, Metropolis off my new album defines me where I'm at right now because it's very much a combination of sound. You know, the song begins in the future. I'm talking about the song, not the yeah, album. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It begins in the future and ends in the past with like an old vaudeville type feeling with the old stride piano. But it's also very futuristic and it has a lot of sound production that incorporates rock and pop music. So it travels. I love playing live. Playing live is what fuels everything. You know, I, when I'm on the road, I, I'm on, I write, I, I, I picture the next record, and it starts. It's, but I also love recording, but you need both. You need the, the back and forth, I think. May I ask you to play for something of the things you will play live, if, if you have some little things to let us hear now? There's a song called Before I Go, I'll play you. Uh, it's the last song on the album. Trying to find the strength within Feeling like this whole thing's make-believe It's time for me to figure out What goodbye is all about What tomorrow's hiding up her sleeve But before I go Let me look at you for one last time let me freeze this picture in my mind Of what I'm about to leave behind Because I know As the minutes die and disappear If I keep this memory crystal clear Part of me will 
stay right here For the rest, you have to come to the show. <laughs> yes, exactly. You have an Italian heart because <laughs> yeah, of, the, of your Italian family. So how was to play here in this country uh, and how was to make San Remo Festival with, with Simone? San Remo was uh, great. <laughs> I had a great time with Simone. She was great and uh, happy she invited me. We, I had so much fun. It was a circus. <laughs> yes, it and is. And she a taught me all the bad words in Italian, and <laughs> I insulted a lot of people. <laughs> but I had a great time. And then uh, coming back, I'm happy to be back playing my own stuff again uh, for this album. And um, yeah, I love coming to Italy. I feel like I'm, I'm part of me is coming home uh, when I'm here. Uh, do you like the way the music business has changed in the last? I mean, from your beginnings to now, it yeah, seems that there's an different. era of difference. It's <laughs> very it's big difference, big difference. Um, I don't know. I have, you know, uh, there's no formula anymore. No People rules. People are trying to figure <laughs> things out. I guess that could be a good thing. So we'll see where that goes. I mean, in the end of the day, I think that what's good will rise to the top no matter what. I have to believe that talented people will be heard no matter what the format is no matter what the business is things will change you can get caught in it yeah. you know but if you stay true and uh, over the course of time I uh, I think that no matter what the the modern current form for for the businesses new people love music and they love good music and uh, and there's all kinds of it out there you know there's so much talent out there you know, unfortunately, there's also a lot of crap out there, and it's, yes. you know, that's <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> so the tricky thing is to somehow keep the bar up high, the quality, the bar of quality, so people don't get so used to hearing junk that they start to think it's not junk. <laughs> so it's tricky. I don't know. I don't have the answer. Do you think that jazz will continue to play a, a part of your, an important part of your life? It or always it will. You know, that's where I come from. That's my base. My, my roots, even though Metropolis and my last album, I mean, this one particularly is not a jazz album at all. Um, it's a pop, I guess, rock album. To me, there's still influences of jazz in there and blues and my roots. And again, I think I, 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 I want to try and keep combining uh, styles. Uh, I want to make it hard for people to categorize. Yes, so that's, it's, that's uh, an interesting thing because yeah. now it, on the internet you have every kind of music all together. I mean, you can choose that's whatever you want. That's true too, yeah. But there's very few out there that are taking it all and doing it, putting it together, and that's a goal, you know, because it, it's uh, interesting to me. It's more fun, you know. There's a lot of different ways to play music, and that's why I never want to make the same record over and over again. So I'll get bored. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> Any requests? Any requests? I don't know. I, I don't know. Can I? <laughs> I don't know. I'll leave you with that. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. <laughs> it was a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Many thanks. Okay, all right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm sorry you didn't know it before. I didn't know. That. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I, uh... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> It was a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.